Hi friends, we'll continue learning our Python image library or pillow. And in this we have earlier you have seen we have taken data from our MySQL database or it can be from anywhere, Excel, CSV or anywhere. And we have generated uh, bulk uh, certificates using a standard template. So now we'll continue to do that and but this time we'll store it in a PDF file. So we'll also can take the data from database or from a list we'll take it and create a PDF file and then we'll integrate it with our Kinter. So in this Kinter the window which is a graphic user interface so we can user can give the inputs to through that to the system. So there we'll take it where to save this PDF file. So once we take the input so it's a we'll use a ask open file or a file browser which we can browse the local system and point to a folder where the file will be stored and also we'll add another button where the our file we can send the data or the pdf file to a local printer where you can print the output so will these two will learn by integrating with kinter window and let's start it there are two parts of it in the part one the certificate is generated by taking the data from a list or it can be mysql database or from any other sources and in the part two the user will be presented with a kinter gui uh, window where the user can click the save button and the file dialog will open up and uh, locally the uh, certificate can be saved or you can take a use the print button to take a print out of the certificate we'll start from here this is the part one and we have already discussed this and here is the link you can see this particular uh, how you have created the certificate using the blank template the blank template address is here and then using the data from this list we have created the certificate and finally we have saved it in path 2 here is the variable where we have stored the our newly created uh, certificate so this now will remove the path here because this is where the user has to select it and the user will save that one so what you will be doing is slightly will modify this we won't show anything because user has to only save it and the save command from here also we are commenting and before that let's come to the top here and here we will here in this case after creating the image object what you are going to do is we are checking what's the image mode is if image dot mode equal to rgba now why we are doing this if it is rgba then what you should do is change the mode then in that case image equal to image dot convert we are using convert method and converting into rgb we because we have to we will give the choice for the user to select a pdf file so p, once the pdf file is then we, we cannot give the alpha channel has to be removed because that that means that uh, opacity or the transparency is maintained that we will remove it and create a rgb only so the mode here we have changed we'll import kinter so for that we'll start our import tick enter as tk now after that will be because we will be showing the file saved uh, dialog box so file dialog we have to import so from tick enter import file dialog i n tick enter import file dialog this will be using so a user can browse and save the path so then import because we have to give the print command also so win32 print so if you are not installed it then pip install win32 print plus we will be running an hour run apply, uh, running the code here for the printing so for that purpose we will be will, sorry now here import win32 api so these are because last these two will require for the pimp, uh, for our print command to the local printer whatever we require now let's start the our kinter window or we'll open the my underscore w is my parent window so dot tk now next we'll say my geometry means width and height of the parent window we are setting geometry now what it is is 400 x 300 so width and height i'll write it here width height of the window 
now after this let's give some title to this this is we are uh, just doing for those who are beginners in kinter so uh, but all our previous tutorial you can see we have discussed uh, many things on the using the kinter so plus to net.com this is the title of it windows title at the top will happen now let to hold the window open we'll just paste it my underscore w main loop so the window will leave it open now this is the blank window in this we'll add our some components or buttons and our label so for that a slightly higher size font we are using so font one equal to now times times this is the font family what you are using then 26 26 is our size then bold is our style it can be italic underline anything i can take it this font style i will be using for my label so at the top i want one label to be there so i am saying l1 equal to tk dot label sorry sorry, sorry. tk dot label parent window my underscore w by default it is the parent window now the text what should be the text written on that label so here it is i am writing say sorry within quotes say fi file or print file now what should be the width of it width equal to let's say give 20 then font equal to font one just now we had declared at the top so the higher size font we are giving now anchor which side it will be aligned let's give it keep it a center now that's all now let's place it on a grid so we'll say l1 dot grid first row so we are saying row equal to one column equal to one now this is will give a column span of two because below that two buttons will be there so the it will occupy two columns so column span equal to two now pad y it is not flushing with the top edge so i am giving a gap from the top so top and below line also it will be 50. so this is what the label is now after that two buttons will place so for that b1 equal to tk dot button now what is this my underscore w is my parent window now uh, text so this is for the button save where the file dialog will come save now what big background slightly i am giving a different background of yellow now width slightly i am giving the width equal to 10 then command what will happen when the button is clicked so the command i am giving is when the user clicks the button vda lambda now this will execute a small code here save file this function i have to write it because i am just saying save save file this particular function you execute but so far we have not written it we'll write that one so for that b1 now let us place it on a grid so it is the below line so row equal to 2 and column our uh, column equal to 1 so for that row equal to 2 next line and column equal to 1 now what i will do i will just copy this up to this point button one more button i want so i will say b2 let me move up a bit b2 now here the second one i will say instead of uh, i will say print instead of save it will print bz background is slightly i will change the background give it light green with the same command is print file here i will say print file fine now in the where it will be sorry i have to make first change the b2 otherwise i'll forget this is also b2 now or here why i have to give a comma row 2 now here also row 2 column equal to 2 so it is the right of it but there are two functions i have to write it because define those functions first one is save file now this function inside that let me just pass it right now because i'll just see how the layout is now print file so this two i am pass now saving this and running once let's just see how this blank window looks yeah you can see here two buttons save and print now nothing will happen because we are not connected to any function 
let's close this and add the code to our save file so we can show the dialog here what i will do is i am giving the variable name as file equal to now here file dialog now in that file dialog i will ask save as ask save as file name this i am going to use it and inside this there are options i will give is file types what are the file types i will be this is a list actually and inside that i will be giving multiples multiple tuples so pdf first is pdf file now this is the description will appear so and again i am giving the dot pdf this is one now similarly one more i will do i will say jpeg file now here i am giving what we have to say with dot jpeg fine so jpeg it is over now let's give png also because user may select a png so png this is the label what will appear to the user now i am saying dot let me maintain the uniform this p n g so these are the three options i have given but one more thing is what should be the default file extension so let me say default file extension equal to now whatever you want let, let me jpg so then we'll see that okay now this file i will the variable whatever the users has selected that will be stored in this particular file here here this variable now what has happened in all our previous tutorials we have said path 2 as a uh, file name where we are storing it so better we'll maintain the same nomenclature so you will be giving path 2 equal to file there is no issue you can directly use file also file name but i am using this because previously everywhere we have used path 2 now the image img image object at the top whatever in the part 1 we have seen here above the kinter all this image object whatever we have created here this is then we have rgba to rgb because red green blue that uh, uh, mode we have converted now that that one directly will save it now so we'll give save now here path 2 earlier what we have done is you can see here we have commented it here here you see this line this line number 21 we have saved in this way now what happened path 2 will hold the user selected the, from the dialog box whatever the user select that i will be saving this so that's all now what happens here the, now next is the print command that we will see next because multiple printer options and all the things we will take it now let us only conclude by using this particular let's just save this and run once and see how this file saving is working now let me say save now here is the dialog box i can pick up pdf jpg png whatever i want say i i, I want that pdf file i have selected the pdf file and let me just give it my test my test dot pdf i instead of okay let me save in this particular i can browse and select different location to save it now let me just save this it is saved there you can go there and see suppose i want it no let with me png file so here you can see i have opened it again my test in pdf is stored now let me just give it as a jpeg jpg so again my test so i am saving this as jpg now let me just again open it so you can see here if i will jpg here it is my test is there i can go for png also and there are multiple further functions are also sorry for other file extensions are also supported you can get a list of it and accordingly you can go these are the three are the most common ones used so we have taken these as examples so my test now this is sorry where it is my test this is png file i have saved it so let's just open it and see how this pdf Achha, one more all files option choice we have not given that's why otherwise you would have seen by default any file type we would have displayed now here you can see the png file is displayed i'll just cancel this or i can save it then it will tell me do you want to overwrite now save so already exists overwrite i am just saving 
Yes. So my certificate is stored in the PNG format. So this is how we'll develop the uh, integrate the Kinter window. So the any type of interface we can uh, create with this. So that's all. We'll stop and next we'll move to either to a filters or various print commands using the fire using this our pillow or the imaging library. Uh, that will stop here. I'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching